Hey, what's going on my fellow idiots? Welcome back for another episode of Video Proof Cooking. So I'm sure you noticed, but I didn't release any videos last week. Honestly, it was just a busy week and I didn't have time to film or edit anything, but I'm back at it this week. Now we're into September, so sadly summer is over. Now I know summer technically ends on the 22nd of September, but let's be honest, August is over, summer's dead and gone. <laughs> but that means we're into September, we're into festival season. So I'm going to be making some funnel cakes today for today episode in honor of festival season. I've already been to two festivals and I've had funnel cakes at both of them. Now they're super easy to make, you just have to be comfortable deep frying in your own home. So let's get into making it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do before even making the funnel cakes is make a berry sauce to pour on top of them when they're done. So start off by adding in two cups of frozen blueberries into a sauce pot, and then we're going to add in a quarter cup of white granulated sugar. From there, I'm going to add in a teaspoon of ground cinnamon to just enhance the blueberry flavor. It doesn't overpower it at all. It really enhances it, so give it a try. And then from there, we're going to add in a little bit of liquid with the juice of a half of a large lemon. So squeeze the juice in and then just use a spoon to mix this all together until the blueberries are thoroughly coated with the, the lemon juice, the cinnamon, and the sugar. From there, we're going to go throw this on a burner, throw it on a medium heat, and let it all simmer for the next half an hour while it turns into a delicious berry sauce. Now, while the berries are simmering, let's make some whipped cream. Into a bowl, we're going to start off by adding in a quarter cup of powdered sugar. From there, we're going to add in one cup of whipping cream, so just pour that on top of your powdered sugar. And then, last but not least, some vanilla paste. I'm using about a teaspoon's worth. You can also use vanilla extract, but then just use your electric mixer and mix this all together for the next three to five minutes until you get whipping cream. It is honestly that easy to make and you're looking for it to form hard peaks, semi-hard peaks like that. Now I'm gonna give that to Rose because obviously she's gonna wanna lick the mixer, but there we go. We got whipped cream and we're gonna throw that in the fridge until we need it. So now's the time to start making the actual batter for the funnel cake. So into a bowl, start off by adding in two cups of all-purpose flour, then two tablespoons of white granulated sugar, a teaspoon of baking powder, and then I would say about a half teaspoon's worth of kosher salt. From there, we're going to start adding in our liquids, starting off with a one cup of whole milk, pour that in, and then we're going to crack in two large eggs. From there, just get out a spatula, a whisk, really whatever mixing utensil you wanna use, and then just mix everything together until you get a thoroughly combined batter looking like this. Really, it just looks like pancake batter, and, and that's essentially all it is. So to make make this easier to make the funnel cakes, I'm going to spoon the batter into a squeeze bottle. That's probably your best bet to make these. This is not a fun undertaking by any stretch of the imagination. As you can see, it's quite messy and some of the batter just falls down alongside of the bottle and it gets all messy. So, you know, if you can think of a better way to do this, do that. I'm using the squeeze bottle here. Like I said, it's very messy. So you know what, hold up. I'm just going to grab some paper towel here and clean up this squeeze bottle just so that I don't get it all over my hands. But really now that this is ready to go, let's head into the kitchen and start frying our funnel cakes. So I've got my 12 inch cast iron pan here, filled up with some vegetable oil that I've heated up to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And then I'm just going to start pouring the batter into the frying oil, making a circular or zigzagging motion just until you make the funnel cakes. As you can see here, it just repeat a circular and zigzagging motion and the funnel cake is going to grow and stick together until it makes a gigantic funnel cake. No really other way to describe that. You wanna make them like six, seven inches in diameter so really the amount of batter is going to make you three or four funnel cakes. Once you've squeezed out enough batter to make the funnel cake the size that you want, just let it fry for the next three or four minutes at 350 degrees until it gets nice and golden brown. After three to four minutes, it's time to flip it. There we go. Look at that. Look at how gorgeous that looks already. And all you're going to do is fry the bottom side of it for another three to four minutes until it golden browns as well. Now you see those two straggly pieces there. I'm going to break them off and eat those right away because why the hell? not. <laughs> Wanted to taste test it anyway. So after three to four minutes, let's pull this out and I'm going to throw it down on some paper towel so that it sucks up the excess frying oil off of it. There we go. And look at that. So all we're going to do is repeat the process. Just squeeze some more funnel cake batter into the frying oil, repeating the circular slash zigzagging pattern and just keep frying them until you've run out of batter. 
At the end of the day, I was able to get three fairly large funnel cakes out of the batter that I've made here. Look at them, they look beautiful. Look at how picturesque those are. So let's take them off of the paper towel here and align them out. Oh man, these turned out perfectly. So now all we're gonna do is start topping these. First off, we're going to throw some powdered sugar on because that's a fairly standard topping on funnel cake. So I'm just going to dust all of these with some powdered sugar. Look at how beautiful these are. Now the batter itself isn't sweet, right? Like you only put a little bit of sugar in the actual batter so that's why you top it with some powdered sugar to add that little sweetness to it but if the sweetness of a funnel cake was ever in doubt it's time to throw on some whipped cream to make these extra rich now as you can see here my whipped cream did deflate a little bit i should have put it in the fridge but then also we're going to throw the berry sauce on top to make this extra extra amazing look at that look at that this is going to be so good so you know what it's time to dig in just go in and try it and it's messy it's sloppy and it's delicious wow is that ever good Holy, that is spectacular. The funnel cake is nice and crispy, obviously, because it's fried dough, and the berry sauce with the whipped cream is sweet and rich. This is just perfect and super easy to make. These came together in no time. Like I said in the intro, you just have to be okay with deep frying in your own home. Some people don't like it, but you know, if you do it a couple of times, you get used to it. And trust me, you'll want to make these. If you if you really want a nice, sweet uh, September treat, these are the things to make. They are so so good so good but you know what let's leave it at that i had a lot of fun making these today in celebration of festival season i'm going to be going to a few more festivals and i'm sure there will be more opportunities for me to have funnel cakes but anyways like i said had a lot of fun making these and i hope you enjoyed what you saw here today if you did why don't you drop me a comment like the video or even subscribe to the channel thanks again for watching idiot proof cooking and we'll see you again soon